Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I am going to explain how to display Excel spreadsheet in SharePoint online side page. And before we get into the video, let me introduce myself. I am Harita, working as a Power Platform Consultant. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe for more tutorials on SharePoint and Power Apps. And now let's get into the actual video. So when we are working with the SharePoint and Excel together, there might be a times when we need to look at the data inside the Excel file that is stored in a document library like this. So usually we would go to the library and find the file if it is multiple files are there and we open it. But instead of doing all this, we can actually display the Excel file right on the SharePoint side page like this. So here you can see I have added the Excel file directly in the SharePoint side page itself. So this makes it easier and faster to view the data and the best part is any update made to this file will also shown up automatically on the page itself. So we don't have to keep checking the file separately every time. Now let's see how we can do this step by step. I am doing starting from this in the new site. So first we have to upload the excel file into the document library. Now I will upload the file. So here as you can see. I have an excel which is containing all the employee details this is the sample excel only and now to display this excel spreadsheet in the sharepoint online site page we have two different methods one is embed code and, uh, and the other one is um, file and media web part so uh, by using these two web parts we can uh, easily display the excel spreadsheet in sharepoint online site page so i am taking the default site page only let me click on this edit I will show you the web parts to display this excel spreadsheet. So I have added one column. Now when I click on this plus icon, search for embed code. So you can see embed and file and media both are coming right. So using these two web parts, we can easily display the excel spreadsheet over here. Now to use this embed code, first we have to get the embed code of that excel file. Now we will do this later so first we will go back to the excel file now i have stored that excel file in this employee documents library so open this file in the browser i will make this entire as a table okay now it created the table the table name is table one open this file so here you can see on the share option there is a embed this workbook option so when you click this one a pop-up page will come since the data is in a table format we can select this table one so it will select the entire table so you can able to see here and in case if you want to take only a uh, few columns and uh, with a few rows then you can select the range so here you can able to see this range it is coming but now i am not taking the anything so i am cancelling you can also use this update these settings after adding this excel into the sharepoint site page now i will just copy this embed code then come back to this original site and here in the same page itself i will edit this uh, page, default sharepoint page and let me add uh, web part embed code so when we add this web part within this text box we have to paste that copied embed code once we added you can see it is rendering and the table also it is displaying if you want to reset the size of this page first let me publish this one and th then i will show you the difference republish so now here you can see you can able to see the excel file in the sharepoint page itself so it is taking the full width of this uh, site page right so in, if you don't want this much you can also adjust it so some of the settings are there for this web part let me click on this web part and go back to this properties edit properties resize to fit in the page so if you do like this then it will take this much of the space only you can also provide one caption for this like employee details so only these two are the settings the properties this web part is containing let me republish this one so now here you can able to see the complete excel table details over here and from here itself you can able to take the url and the embed code itself and there are the share and 
download buttons are there you can use all these settings from the page itself now this is one way so using the embed code web part we have added the excel spreadsheet into this sharepoint online site page now we will see how to use the another file and media web part to display the excel spreadsheet now within this only we will add under this i will add one more section in this section i will add the file and media search for file and media so it will open a page like this where you can able to select the excel file either you can take the recently uploaded excel file or you can take from the onedrive or from the site itself of or you can upload directly from the local system and even from your link also you can able to upload so i am taking from the recent one which i uploaded and then select and click on the insert in the down now this also containing the added description you can provide or you can leave it employee details i am providing the details so if we choose some of the properties for this web part here we can take entire table or the range itself so table means we have only one table that is this one so the table name if we have multiple tables then we can able to specify which table we want so let me provide the table name table one then it will display the table one details if you change it the table name you just simply provide the table name over here and some of the sets are there like show grid lines so if you want to show these grid lines you can able to you can che uh, check this one if you don't want uncheck it so if you want to allow sorting and filtering columns from here itself then you can able to then you can keep these check boxes you can see the entire workbook you, you can display or the chart if the charts you have mentioned you can take like that and the other one the range so here if you want to display the range in the sheet name just provide now we are presently in the sheet one so here you can see we are in the sheet one so i have provided the sheet one starting the cell you can provide a1 to ending j1 Okay. so since i have provided starting cell is a1 and the ending cell is j16 so here we have 16 records so till this one it will take if you provide j10 see if i provide one then only one row it was displaying let me provide 10 then you can able to see 10 records like this how many rows or how many columns you want to display you can display that many and now I am re republishing this one. So this way we can simply display the Excel file spreadsheet in the SharePoint online page. So this will be very helpful if we want to see the data instead of going to the navigating to the document library and opening the file. Uh, just imagine if you have multiple files and finding that file and opening and checking the details uh, it will be hectic right so instead this will be a useful way i hope you like this video thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel